welcome to do by DJSPRC. We have our TRX4M Bronco and it's time to lower the speed of it. It's geared for high speed right now. Uh, this vehicle is going to be used for crawling. I'm going to go with the 9776R uh, gear set for transmission, lower range for crawling. Uh, it's 48.31.1 ratio, reduction ratio should I say, uh, and pinion gear 11. We're going to open our pack. We do have our three gears and we do have our pinion. Put those aside, take that out. One of the first things we're going to do is unplug our motor off our speed control and we're going to notice the red wire is pointing outside the speed control. Okay. Now we're just going to feed our wire out. There's two ways you could physically do this. They do sell it already pre-built, a transmission with the low range. You could buy it and just swap it in the vehicle. Or do like me and basically just changing it out. There we go. The reason I'm going to change it out is I want to remove the bushings inside and put bearings. The complete vehicle is all bearings now. Uh, the front, the rear, the diffs are all bearings. Two screws on the battery cover. You'll be able to put, raise this up here and be able to access the four screws. Yeah, uh, no. I don't need to remove my drive shafts. Uh, on the stock dry shafts, you will need to, because mine will just pull out. I uh, will unbolt them afterwards, because I won't be able to put them back in the truck, whip them in. I'm going to unbolt all four. And then we should be able to remove this assembly in one shot. Flip it over, take our screws out, put the screws right here. Now I'm going to remove my dry shafts. And no, these are not the stock dry shafts. These are the yaw racing. And they're fully steel. And I'll be honest with you, they're not that heavy. A lot stronger. Okay, we have our transmission. Just gonna make it take a look around, make sure. We're gonna have basically four screws, one here, one there, one there, one there, to remove the cover. And if you notice, the way I'm putting the screws on my table are the same way. I took him I'm taking them out. They seem to be all the same length. In case there is one that's longer than the other one. 
it will go back where it needs to go. Too many times I see it. People working on their vehicles and putting the wrong screw at the wrong place. Now I'm going to put my finger on the diff output. That's right here. And pull the case up. And turn it. Right there. Right there in the case. There's three bushings. I'm just going to put the transmission aside like this. And I'm going to remove these bushings. There's one. The other guys, I might need my hook. Again, if you're not going to change them, you're just going to change the gearing. You, what I'm doing right now, you don't need to. But is it suggested? Oh, yeah. These are in solid. And I don't mind if I damage the bushings. I don't care about them. But I don't want to damage the case. Now I'm trying to use my finger at the same time to pry because I'm able to remove one side, but when I'm touching the other side, I'm pushing it back in. What I did here, if you can see, there's bearings in there anymore, uh, and right now I mean, and no more bushings. With my hook, I could not be able to do it. Easiest way, I found a flat screwdriver that I had that the bushing fits in it. And I was able to grab it and go a little bit on the side a little bit of pressure and be able to wiggle it out and I was able to remove these two here now this is done put that aside we're gonna go in the transmission we're gonna remove this gear and remember how it goes in we're gonna pull this one and put it like that because I need to remove these bushings here too and I'm going to pull that one there too. I'm able to wiggle them out. Okay, that one was way easy. I have these bushings on my side. Grab our bearings. Pop them in. This one's only be a little bit harder. Okay, that one's in, but the problem I have, it's stuck to my screwdriver. There we go. Make sure it's seated. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do, because I need to change this pinion. We'll need to remove the motor. We're going to unbolt the motor. Come on, screw. Okay. 
and you'll notice there's two screws on each side of the motor. We're going to grab our flat screwdriver and go in between and slowly pry that pinion out and she just popped and we're going to do the same thing with the other one popped it back in we don't want it too much in you want it flat with the top of the motor pin Mine is just missing that edge. There you go. And do not use a hammer or something to push that pin back down. You will damage the motor. Now let's put our motor back in. One screw stayed there. Screw that one back in. There we go. Again, don't go too tight. You want tight enough. You don't want to strip it. Now this gear goes back here, but we're going to change that gear. We're going to push our pin. We're going to find that gear first of all. It is this guy here. Just need to make sure that yeah, that's this. Yeah, this is this guy here. We're going to push our pin. Completely out. Put that gear over there. Grab our pin back and a new one. And we go midway. We're going to put our pin back in the transmission. And make sure it's, it turns. It does. And I'm just going to make sure our pin is in. Okay, now we're going to change this guy here. So we're just going to push that one out and push the other one in and you'll notice it is keyed this plastic here is keyed there's only one way you could put that one back in now before putting that one back in we need to swap out the other one again same thing we're going to push the pin out and push this pin in in this guy here And we're going to reinsert it. You're going to want no gears on the bottom. Push our pin in. Making sure they do touch. Here we go. Now we're going to push this one in. Yeah. You're going to want the bottom sleeve in put that aside now I want to come back with our diff case and everything should go back in one piece if I did this correctly
Something's not going back in. Sometimes with the bearings, if they're not aligned correctly, it will create your issues. And right now, one of my bearings is not cooperating. Because, I don't know if you can notice, but this does wiggle a bit. And that's where it's not aligning. Okay, basically, exactly what I was saying. Uh, the three sha the two shafts here, were not aligning correctly on the bearings. I think the tolerance is very, very tight uh, compared to the bushing that's a little bit looser. What I did is remove the gears and I put the gears in the cover instead and making sure all the bushings, put the bushing, the bearings are seated correctly. And then I just put the case back in and it went back like a charm. Now, we're just gonna re-bolt everything up. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this question. Do I need to put any oil in this? No, you don't need to. You can if you want to, just a little bit. And the oil I would suggest is probably like marine grease. Um, it does repel water. And, but you don't really need to. I didn't. Normally I do put a little bit, but for this one, yeah. I did not. Now I'm gonna put all four screws and I'm gonna go in an X pattern and tighten them up. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab my hook and make sure I can turn those gears. And I have no issues turning this. I feel the motor turn That tells me I did a good job. <laughs> now to put it back in the vehicle. Like I said, I'm not gonna put my drive shafts in first. I'm gonna put them last. We're gonna grab our vehicle. We're on the other side, pop it back in. Make sure it's seated and grab our four bolts. Drop it at the same time. You can hate it sometimes. My screwdriver is magnetic, magnetized, should I say? But sometimes, I don't know why, it doesn't want to hold. And the time you're going to say, yeah, I don't want you to hold. See, it doesn't want to. Maybe because of the... Um, Wow, okay. I need, I'll need to remagnetize it. Uh, you're gonna, not going to want it to do it. It's going to do it. Or when you say, I hope it does, it doesn't. If something's not right. It's not seated correctly. 
I'll remove the other side. Make sure it's seated. There we go. Heard that click. And looking at it, it is seated. Now, basically, you're just going to reverse the step you did. that we did in the beginning. While I'm doing this, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them down, post them down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel out a lot, a lot, a lot, especially in the rankings. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to continue bolting this back up. I'm going to put them too tight because I don't want to strip them. <laughs> 